In this video, we go over configuration mode. So everything can be done with the sequencer running. So you can enter configuration mode from any primary mode by pressing the home and function buttons. To exit configuration mode, you just press home. When you're in configuration mode, you can see the LEDs above the pitch and time buttons are blinking in double time to indicate that you are in this mode. This is where you can set your sync, MIDI in and out channels, enable or disable the USB MIDI output, and other settings. So for sync in, you have internal, MIDI, and DIN. If you set sync to the internal, the Avalon will only sync to the internal clock. If the unit sees MIDI sync messages coming in via the USB or DIN MIDI inputs, it will be ignored. If you set sync to MIDI, it's going to use the internal clock until it sees a MIDI clock, either from the USB MIDI or DIN MIDI inputs. And the MIDI clock will override the internal clock. This is the mode the unit ships in, just to make sure when the user gets it home, it's going to play no matter what. So if you're trying to sync it up, it'll automatically sync to a MIDI device, or if not, the internal sequencer. The internal sequencer will take over. When DIN sync input is selected, the internal sequencer will not play, and will be controlled by the DIN sync clock, start, and continue messages. For sync out, DIN sync is always enabled. MIDI sync allows you to turn it on or off. You can have the unit spit out DIN sync and MIDI sync simultaneously. Or just DIN sync by deselecting MIDI sync. Now for USB MIDI, you have separate control over the MIDI output versus DIN MIDI, which is always enabled. When the LED is on, it's enabled. When it's off, it's disabled. MIDI input data is merged from the DIN MIDI and the USB MIDI input, so they can both be used at the same time. If you have sync in set to MIDI, it's going to grab the first clock that it sees. So if it sees the USB MIDI clock first, it's going to sync to that clock and ignore any subsequent clocks coming in via the DIN MIDI, and vice versa. If it sees MIDI clock from the DIN MIDI input first, it's going to ignore any additional clock inputs it sees from the USB MIDI input. For the MIDI input and output channels, you simply press and hold the button and select which channel you want on the 16 step buttons. Pattern bank dumps, track dumps, and system dumps are also done in configuration mode. If you want to dump the entire machine state, including all patterns and tracks, you would press system to send to receive the sysx. So if you have your sysx program ready and you hit system, it'll transmit or receive the machine state. You can just dump a pattern bank or a track, depending on the primary mode that you're in. So if in track mode, whichever track is currently selected, or in pattern mode, whichever bank is selected, it'll transmit or receive that track when you press dump to initiate the dump. If you press the section button, it'll show you the current OS version. The major version is the bright LED. The minor version is the dim LED. Press home to exit configuration mode. You can do all of this with the sequencer running. So you can change your sync modes, for example, while the sequencer is running.